Hey guys, what's up? It's Natalie. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm just going to be doing a, like, everyday, um, makeup video just for, like, school, if you're just running errands, like, on a weekend or stuff, and you just want, like, a light makeup, this is what I do just about every day. Um, and you can always just add a little bit more, like, I don't do eyeliner or anything every day. Also, please excuse my dog. She's not very happy that she's down in the kitchen right now. But what can you do? So I'm sorry if you hear her barking at all during this intro. But um, it's just super simple, like less than 10 minute makeup routine. I do not take very much time in the morning getting ready. So trust me, it's super simple. Um, and I just want to let you guys know, after my last video, Muddy Body actually gave me a coupon for their website. And I'm going to link that down below again. Uh, I added it into my last video, but I don't know if any of you guys saw it. So you can get 10% off of your entire purchase right now if you go on there and use the code NATTY10. I'll put it right here and then also down in the description box below. I'll also link all of the products that I used today down there. And I think that's about it. So if you guys are interested in getting this makeup look, just keep watching. Hey guys, so as you can see, right now I have no makeup on. I'm right out of the shower. All I have on is a Cetaphil moisturizer. And so I'm just going to start with this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. It's very lightweight. Literally, I have such dry skin and it goes on so smoothly. doesn't cling to any dry patches. So it has a little dropper in the top and I just take a little bit of that and I just apply it right to my face out of that dropper. A little bit um, just all over. And I don't use very much just because I'm mainly using this to even out that redness that is on my face. Uh, if I was going probably out and it wasn't just every day, I would use a little bit more. And I just apply that with my hands. I know that's probably not the best way to apply it. But I mean, let's be honest, I'm trying to get out of the door in the morning. So I apply that really quick. If I'm actually going out and I want a heavier foundation, more of a finished look I'm just going to apply it with a beauty blender probably and use more of it honestly every day I don't even do foundation every single day sometimes I just do concealer depending on how my redness is on my face or my acne sometimes I'll do that but then after that I'm going in with my concealer it's the NARS radiant creamy concealer and sorry you can't really see that but it's in the color vanilla it's like one of the lightest ones because I'm so pale so I just take that and I use that under my eyes and then on any blemishes that I have too and it's just really good at covering up uh, I like this a lot but sometimes depending on how dry my skin is it will get pretty it will cling to some of the dry patches so I have to be careful and when you're using your fingers to apply it you always want to make sure that you are using your ring finger because that is the finger that just like naturally uses the least amount of pressure and you don't want to be pulling on your skin and creating more lines than your skin naturally will as you get older. So make sure you're always using your ring fingers to apply and I just take that over my nose too because I get red there and I'm covering up that pimpy that I had there on my chin because no one wants to see that during the day. Now it's gone. Yay. Okay, and so next then I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in color 110. And... I just use this to like set overall and then I'm using my shanty sorry um powder brush there and I if I'm not wearing foundation I'll do this all over but when I do the foundation I usually just do it under my eyes and anywhere that I put that concealer and then just do like the rest of it all over and sorry that just got really bright and you couldn't really see what I was doing so there you can see my skin is now not no longer red and I'm going to be using my hula bronzer it's by benefit and my Shaney brush once again, and it is in F14. It's a medium blush brush, but obviously I don't use that for blush. I use it for bronzer. Taking that, and um, I'm going to apply it. Bronzer is for everywhere that the sun would hit you. It's not the same as contour. I know a lot of people think that. But you just go ahead and you are going to put that on your temples, on top of your cheeks. I put it on my neck and then like a little bit all around um, just to kind of make everything look nice and bronzed. And then next I'm going to go in with my NYX eyebrow pencil. I got that from Ulta. It's pretty much the same thing as the Anastasia one, just way cheaper. And I don't do much to my eyebrows. Some days I will fill them in. Some days I won't. It, honest, I don't know if any of you guys have like the good eyebrow days, bad eyebrow days, but I definitely do. 
And so I just brush them out first, making sure I get any powder or anything out of them. And then I will go ahead and just, if there's anything to fill in, I will do that. And if not, then I'll usually just brush them through and then I'm done with it because who needs to have full on eyebrows for going to the grocery store? Not me. <laughs> But that's just what I'm doing there. And then next I'm going back in with that Hula Bronzer by Benefit. And this is just, once again, if I want to do a little bit more than just the bare minimum, I'm going to go ahead and I take this blending brush and I take a little bit of the bronzer and I put that right in my crease just to kind of create a little bit of dimension so it looks like I did a little bit more than nothing with myself but still it's just so simple same thing that you have on your cheeks kind of ties everything together because you're just applying that same color and it looks really nice and natural and again just adding a little bit of dimension so there I'm done with that And then I'm going in with my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This is my all-time favorite mascara. It is so dark. It lengthens my eyelashes. It volumizes them. It just everything. It's so nice. It's definitely worth the price. So I highly recommend that. And I'm so sorry. Our mascara... Does anyone else make like a really ugly mascara face? Like is it even possible to put on mascara with your mouth closed? Because I just genuinely think that putting on mascara people make the ugliest faces I've ever seen I don't know if that's anyone else or maybe it's just me but I go ahead and I put on a couple coats of that and I'll do it on my bottom lashes too Okay, now we're done with that, and I'm taking this just Vaseline Lip Therapy. It's the Cocoa Butter one. Putting that on my lips just to keep them nice and moisturized and not chapped. And after that, that is about it. So excuse my awkward faces I'm about to make. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look.